Hey guys, Martha Mentor here, back with another video. All right, this video, I'm gonna get straight to the point. I'm not gonna waste your time because I know your time is valuable. My time is valuable. I wanna talk about cargo van versus box truck business, which is the best way to enter into the logistics field. You know, you wanna start your business, you're kinda of trying to decide between, should I buy a cargo van? Should I buy a box truck? And you kinda of undecided, pros and the cons, things of that nature. I'm gonna give you a real quick video that hopefully you can find some value from to kind of help you uh, make that decision, all right? Straight to it, box truck, all right? The box truck industry now, I think is a very advanced industry. It's a lot more advanced entering than it was when I got into the industry 13, 14 years ago, all right? The cost of entry is a lot higher now. It's more saturated now. Um, there's a lot more opportunity in the box truck industry than it was years prior. But, you know, that that learning curve that everyone must go through um, in any business they start uh, is a lot more expensive now um, than than it was years prior. Um, inflation um, is a big factor. Just, you know, as time goes on, everything goes up. So a lot of I, I don't think a lot of people take this into consideration. Um, and I'm about to say something, something, so don't get offended. It's just the honest to God truth. I think a lot of people have box truck dreams, but they have cargo van money. All right. So it's just like people go out, they have Mercedes Benz dreams, but they have Honda Civic money. All right. You have to make sure that when you enter into this space, you have enough working capital um, during the initial stages of starting the business uh, for you to um, master and maneuver around that learning curve. A lot of people come into the box truck business and they don't have enough money. And ultimately they come in the business and then they're out of the business within 30 days. Some of them don't even survive 30 days because they just don't have enough working capital to get out there and and really get going um you should have about six months of savings i think when you get into any business um this business had there's a lot of variables uh when you're entering into the box truck space and it doesn't matter what lane you get into i don't care if you're doing uh middle mount otr i don't care if you're doing final mount i don't care if you got your box truck and you're starting a moving company whatever lane you get into with your box truck, there's a learning curve that you got to go through through and it is not cheap nowadays. Fuel is expensive. Um, insurance is expensive. Uh, if you're renting a truck, box truck rental rates are very expensive now. All right. If you're financing a truck, the cost of trucks have gone up uh, uh, considerably um, compared to what they were, were uh what they cost in the past. If you are financing a box truck, look what's going on with inflation. Um, Jerome Powell is steady raising the interest rates, right? So interest rates are higher now, right? He's gonna keep raising those interest rates, right? To slow down the economy, to ultimately bring down inflation, all right? So those are a lot of variables that I think a lot of people don't take into consideration. And, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people fail, all right? So now, that compared to the cargo van uh, industry, cargo van industry. All right. Granted, you're not going to make as much money as you would if you were starting a box truck business. Why? Because you're in a cargo van, there's less space. So you're not going to be able to do or load it with more pallets. You're not going to have the opportunity to do more stops, which uh, with a, with a cargo van than you would with a box truck, ultimately decreasing your earning potential. But uh, on the brighter side of things, the cargo van is uh, the cost of entry is a lot lower. All right. Insurance is lower. Fuel is lower. Um, your your rental rates, if you decide to go that route, um, is lower. Uh, if you decide to buy or finance a cargo van is a lot cheaper than a box truck. So your 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 your, your monthly uh, finance uh, bill uh, will be lower. Um, and your the learning curve that you have to go through in that business ultimately is going to be a lot lower as well because all your fixed and variable expenses are lower. I think that's a better way to get in, especially if you don't have a lot of working capital. Um, another good thing um, compared to the box truck business, if you don't have a lot of working capital, um, you got plenty of opportunities, more opportunities with a cargo van to supplement income than you do 
with a box truck. And then there's other variables um, with the cargo van uh, legally, you know, binding variables that you have to meet with a box truck that you don't have to meet with a cargo van, like hours of service. It, look, while you're going through that learning curve with a cargo van, right? And let's say you're trying to figure things out. You have a dedicated run and you're kind of taking a loss on your dedicated run initially. Hey, you know what? I still got some some energy in me. I got a there's a plethora of gig apps that you can go do the other half of your day to kind of make up for some of those losses on your dedicated uh, uh, routes that you're losing while you're going through that learning curve. You, you can do Amazon Flex. Amazon has routes all day. All right. So you can do Amazon Flex. You can sign up for Curry. You can sign up for GoShare. You can sign up for Freight. There's a plethora roadie. There's a plethora of um, opportunities on the cargo van side that you can use to supplement that learning curve uh, 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 um, that you're taking a loss on on your dedicated stuff with your cargo van until you figure things out uh, to the point where you got dedicated runs and you're, 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 you're making enough money on your dedicated runs that you don't have to go do anything you know, extra at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? And this is just, you know, me letting people know, you know, the pros and the cons. Like I said, a lot of people have box truck dreams, but they have cargo van money. And if, and, and you got to be honest with yourself. If you're one of those people that have box truck dreams and cargo van money, there's nothing wrong. People have gotten away from the idea of grass rooting, a uh, business or bootstrapping a business, starting uh, at, a, at a at a lower scale and working their way up. Listen, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with bootstrapping and grassrooting the business and working their way up. All right, I started with a pickup truck and and gradually grew to 15 trucks, 15 box trucks, 15 straight trucks. All right, it took some years, a few years, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that was the best way. All right. If I would have I've had guys that have worked for me in the past that at my peak saw my success and they thought they could duplicate it. And they tried to duplicate it at my peak instead of starting at the bottom and grassroots. And guess where they were back in six months? They were both of those guys that tried to duplicate my success at my peak. They were both back working for me within six months. All right. Because they thought it was just a quick way to the top and they wanted to start at the top and they didn't understand what it took to be at that point, what it took to operate a, a, a fleet of trucks, how much it, you know, it, it took as far as a uh, uh, monetary mo mo money wise. All right. Money wise. It, I grew that business to that point. I bootstrapped that business to that point. I grassrooted that business to that point. All right. So there's nothing wrong with crawling, walking and then running. You can start in a cargo van. Right. And while you're starting with that cargo van, you're learning the logistics industry at a lower cost. You can keep building up, networking, learning the industry so that, you know, hey, you know what? I'm making money now in my cargo van. Instead of me trading out of the cargo van into the box truck, I'm going to keep the cargo van going. I'm going to put a driver in it and I'm going to go buy a box truck and run it. You, I got enough knowledge now that pretty much, you know, what I'm saying I'm just. I'm just transitioning from a cargo van to a box truck. The, 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 the knowledge base is pretty much the same. I'm just transitioning from a smaller vehicle to a larger vehicle. So I'm just putting more stuff um, um, on, on the vehicle than I, I was prior. But, you know, all the basic uh, uh, variables that you have to know um, as far as logistics, you pretty much learned that with the cargo van. Listen, I don't have a dog in the fight in your business. I don't have a horse in the race in your business. It's your business. All right. This is just my professional experience opinion. And hopefully someone got some value from it. All right. www.boxtruckcourses.com for your one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, Mark the Mentor. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the upcoming videos. I'm out.